the war was at its peak. One fine day, Duryodhan told Dronacharya, Acharya, it seems you want to ruin our kingdom. That's why you didn't catch Yudhishthir yesterday. It appears you're on the enemy's side. Dronacharya said, Rajan, I always wish for your welfare, but you still blame me. Just keep one thing in mind, that whoever has been saved by Lord Krishna cannot be hurt by anybody. But today, I'll make a chakra view. You. you will see that I will kill one of the great warriors of the Pandavas. But you should make sure that Arjun should remain far away from Yudhishthir. After saying this, Dronacharya started making a chakra view. At the same time, Duryodhan challenged Arjun for war and Arjun left for the battlefield. Yudhishthir got worried. He had a question in his mind. Who will dismantle the chakra view? Then he remembered about Abhimanyu. He ordered Abhimanyu that he should go and dismantle the chakra view. Abhimanyu said, Maharaj, my father has taught me how to destroy the chakra view. But how will I come out? That I don't know. Yudhishthir said, You go inside to destroy the chakra view. I will follow you and kill the enemy. Then Abhimanyu said with pride in his voice, Maharaj, I'll dismantle the chakra view and remove all the hurdles for you and the people. Within no time, he boarded the chariot. Then he attacked Dronacharya heavily standing at the gate of the chakra view and entered the chakra view. Brave warriors of the Pandavas also followed. Abhimanyu fought with bravery inside the chakra view. At the same time, he saw that the best warriors of the Kauravas had been defeated. He had destroyed the army of the Kauravas. All of the Kaurav soldiers had died one by one. The whole Kaurav army had been ruined. And the soldiers were running away, leaving the battlefield. After seeing this, Duryodhan was very, very upset. Dronacharya, Shakuni, Shalya and Kaurava came forward to help Duryodhan. On seeing them, Abhimanyu roared like a lion. Everybody stopped in their place. Nobody was able to understand anything. To defeat him, Abhimanyu shot an arrow towards Karan, which pierced Karan's armor and forcefully entered the earth. Then Abhimanyu started shooting arrows like rain. Everybody was amazed and wondered how this young child was such an expert. When he takes out an arrow, puts it to his bow and shoots, nobody could even see the action. His actions were fast as lightning. Dronacharya could not contain himself after looking at Abhimanyu's patience and gallantry. He came to Kripacharya and praised the acts of bravery. Duryodhan heard this and lost his temper. He said, Friends, this Acharya has some attachments to the Pandavas. That's why he's safeguarding Abhimanyu. We should not rely on him and kill Abhimanyu collectively. Listening to this, Dusarshan said, Maharaj, don't worry about this. This youngster has got much love and affection. Now I'll set him right. And saying this, Dusarshan ran towards Abhimanyu. As Abhimanyu saw Dusarshan coming towards him, he too lost his temper. You are the wicked person who had tried to undress Draupadi. Stop monster, I'll finish you. Saying this, Abhimanyu shot 25 arrows together at his body. He fell down unconscious. But after some time, Dron, Kripa, Karan, Ashwatthama, Priyat and Kritvarma, these six warriors surrounded Abhimanyu. But he never felt nervous and he killed the Vrit warriors with his bravery. Seeing this, 
changed the situation entirely and 10,000 soldiers started running for their lives away from the battleground. Jaydrath caught Abhimanyu alone, leaving all the Pandav soldiers aside. How long and with how many can he fight alone? Gradually, the Kaurav army surrounded Abhimanyu. At the same time, Karan said to Dronacharya, Acharya, this young warrior is killing Kaurav soldiers and warriors. Please show me some way to kill him. Then Dron told him, there is only one remedy to kill him. You make him weaponless and kill him. Because as long as he is armed, even God cannot kill him. Karan fired a rain of arrows immediately and knocked off his bow. He killed the horses throwing his chariot with his flag. And suddenly, Kripacharya attacked the young Abhimanyu. Abhimanyu fought with his sword and shield and started killing his enemies. Dronacharya shot an arrow after chanting a mantra at Abhimanyu's sword and broke it into two pieces. Karan also destroyed his shield by shooting an arrow. Abhimanyu took a wheel of his chariot and attacked Dronacharya. At the time, blood was flowing out from the body of Abhimanyu. All his clothes became red with blood. So they combined forces and broke the chariot wheel into pieces. Then Abhimanyu took a club in his hand and attacked Ashwatthama. A war of clubs started. Ashwatthama now realized that he was unsafe. So he ran away from there. The son of Dusarshan came with a club and attacked Abhimanyu. Abhimanyu was alone and he was already tired from battle and he was not able to move his club properly. But despite this, he was fighting with the son of Dusarshan gathering all his strength. Both of them fell down on attacking each other, unconscious. But the son of Dusarshan became conscious first. Before Abhimanyu could regain consciousness and get up, he attacked him on his head with his club. The young warrior had been fighting this war like a thunderbolt for quite some time. Now, it was all over. Looking at the scene from heaven, even God became restless. They discussed that Dronacharya along with six other warriors killed the lone Abhimanyu. This was a vicious act. After the death of Abhimanyu, the Pandavas felt a terrible loss. By then, the sun had set. Both the armies put down their arms and went back to their camp. Everybody at the Pandava camp was grieving because of the death of Abhimanyu. All of them were thinking the same thought, that after some time when Arjun would come, how would they tell him about the whole distressful event? After some time, Arjun returned from the battlefield. What he sees is everybody's faces full of sorrow. He questioned them, what's the matter? Why so much grief? Where is my Abhimanyu? Let me see my Abhimanyu. Otherwise, I'll sacrifice myself. I'll sacrifice my life. Nobody had the courage to give him a reply. At last, collecting his courage, Yudhishthir narrated the whole episode to Arjun in a sad voice. After listening to the whole event, Arjun was very sad when he knew that Jaydarth was the root cause of the death of his son Abhimanyu. He was furious. He said in front of all, Brave warriors, I vow that if I cannot kill Jaydarth before sunset of tomorrow, I'll be responsible for the murder of a Brahmin and I'll suffer punishments of hell. If I cannot kill Jaydarth, before sunset of tomorrow, then I will sacrifice myself in the fire.